So the first thing you are gonna need is a wallet. And for Flux, it is recommended to use Zelcor. This is also the wallet that interacts with all the nodes and everything that happens in the Flux ecosystem. So that's why Zelcor is recommended here for pretty much everything Flux. Now, once you come into Zelcor, there's a few things you need to realize here, and that is where you're gonna put your mining rewards and stuff. There's a bunch of different tabs up top. Obviously, mining is one of them, and then you're gonna have to come in and add an asset, and then you get your Flux wallet address. Now, here you can see, if I come in, go to income, I have another one here with a different balance because this actually, each tab represents something different, and each one will get a different wallet address. So it's really easy easy to actually lose your flux especially when you restore a wallet or something because you got to make sure you import or add assets i guess for each one if you have multiple wallet address under individual tabs so into my income here and i click on flux and we go into receive we can see that this ends in v h v8 so v h v8 and if i come into my mining tab here and then i click on flux and go to my receiving address we can see that it's actually different uh, y i z h v so make sure you do realize and remember where you actually have your flux that you're being mined to that way you don't log in another time you come into income and you thought it was here you added your asset and it was flux and then all of a sudden it's zero you think you lost it all make sure you do have the proper tabs all added when you restore your wallets later on so to make it nice and easy and as a crypto miner just use the mining tab here add asset pick flux on the main chain and then pick your flux address by going to receive and this is the wallet address that you will be mining to so starting things off in windows here the best miner currently for flux and has been for quite some time now a few years is the mini z miner now if you actually go to their website you can see there is a password for mini z here which you will need when you extract that so once you download that and begin to extract it you're going to need the password which is mini and then capital z for mini z and just simply hit the okay button that will allow you to extract it all right so once you do get mini z extracted here you're going to see there's no bat files or anything so we're going to have to run the mini z underscore gui right here by default it is all blank but i'm going to run through it for you guys right quick here so name I'm gonna name this bat file flux because this is gonna name a bat file for you once you do start everything. Server port and everything, we're gonna get rid of this. It's blank by default. And we're gonna put in our pool parameter. So we're gonna come in to flux here on Hero Miners, which is the sponsor of today's video and simply copy this stratum right here. Pick the closest stratum that's to you. So I'm gonna right click, copy this. Keep in mind, we're gonna have to put the port in a different location. So once we bring this up, we're going to paste this in right here, get rid of the port part and the colons here and put 1200 right here. Next up, you're going to need our wallet address. So we're going to come in and go into our Zelcor here, copy our mining wallet address, bring up our mini Z again and paste that in like so. And then name your worker, whatever you want. In this case, I'm going rabid WS. So everything is looking good. Um, auto, I think algo can just be on auto here. Uh, you can change it to 124, 125, 4 if that's what you like. That is what Flux runs. But I do believe auto works here. And then once you're done there, simply hit the start button. It'll also auto config and make a bat file for you. So if we hit the start button, we can see everything is starting up here. So I'm going to actually close this right quick because we got to set overclocks and whatnot. But if I come back into here, we can see our bat file was actually made now. So if I right click and edit this, we can see everything, all the parameters we need are now in here based on that GUI. That way, anytime you need to run this, you no longer have to go through the GUI. You can just double click on that bat file and the miner will begin. All right, so coming into hashrate.no for the RTX 4090, it doesn't have any type of overclock setting set here other than a power limit to 330 watts. So. You can run just that if that's what you would like. I'm using the LOL Miner GUI. This does how I do my overclocking stuff in Windows. I'm going to run something like, I guess, 2205 core offset and the memory. I'm not sure how much memory we need for flux at the moment. I'm just going to go 5001 just for something kind of in the middle. Obviously, if I want more memory, I'd probably put an offset of around 1000 or something. I'm just going to apply these OCs right here. Let me know what overclock you're using down in the comment section. So I'm going to hit OK on that. I'm going to bring up Afterburner just so we can double check. 2205, 5001 memory is locked. 
So I'm just gonna close this out. And now I'm gonna come back in here and we're gonna begin running with this miner right here. And now we're gonna begin mining flux in Windows with the current set overclocks. So you may have noticed earlier that I had an error and it's looping. So this is actually being caused by the integrated graphics on my 7950X 3D. So you actually have to tell it what GPU to use or you're gonna get all these errors and stuff. So that's a pretty simple process here. I'm just gonna close this out here and I went to find the commands and you can see it right here. So I'm just gonna bring up my bat file here, paste this in right here. So we're gonna get rid of that paste that in like so so dash dash cuda dash devices equals zero so this is telling it to use gpu zero in my workstation so i'm going to save this now close that out bring this back up and now double click it and we should begin mining at this point because it's now only detecting the one gpu the rtx 4090 and now we can see some hash rate and stuff happening so if you're running into this issue most likely you have integrated graphics it's reading the wrong one and it's not noticing a cuda and you're getting a bunch of errors here so that is the fix for this so hopefully this helps you get up and running in windows